like, bro, we get this dumb shit before the PS5, and you had such a good week, though, Sam. They had such a good week last week. How the fuck you start out the week with this shit? Like, really? I mean, now people really will think Ghost of Tsushima has a chance of going to PC. You know, I took a heavy fucking dose of acid and I thought to myself, you know what's missing from your channel, Frit? Well, besides any original thought or creativity or talent or video quality or a consistent upload schedule, you're missing a catchphrase. You don't got one. I mean, let's just go over to Colt Eastwood's channel. Look, more than just gameplay. What do I got? Nothing. Well, to be fair, my marketing strategist is a dog, so there's that. I gotta find something. I don't know, what, uh, Fratanga, dicks are bigger here. No, that's not really gaming related. I don't know. You guys come up with a catchphrase. I'll pin whoever's comment is the best one. Fuck it. But I'll tell you what's not missing from Fratanga's channel. No, no, no. The console peasant salt. It's endless mountains of it. And it seems like every month, the PlayStation fanboys just continue to expose themselves as being some of the most toxic people in the gaming community. Let's uh, take a minute to discuss exclusives because that's such an important thing for consoles. Remember, without exclusives, consoles wouldn't sell and people would go to PC. Hey, I didn't say that. The peasants are the ones saying it. The peasants, they're the ones making the claim that without exclusives, consoles are meaningless. I just, you know, I play 4D chess with them. I get them to come to that conclusion without me having to say it because then I'm the elitist prick. The truth is, yes, consoles help move units. Why? Well, because when people wanna play a game and it's only found on one box, they're gonna do what they have to do. Even if that makes gaming artificially much more expensive than it needs to be. As long as those corporations are making money, they can continue to provide you with content that you can't get elsewhere. Not that that makes it better by default, nor does it mean that the games themselves are guaranteed to be bangers because, I mean, let's take a look at, you know, I don't know, what? The last few Halos? Quantum Break? Godzilla? I'm not going to pretend like exclusives don't matter because obviously if they didn't matter, then there would be no reason for them to exist. They simply don't matter to me, and exclusive isn't enough to entice me to drop about $400 on a brand new box. You know how much acid I could get for 400 bucks? Holy shit, now I'm thinking about it. So let's turn our attention to Twitter, where all the salt is continuously piling on. What happened? What did the peasants learn today? Or actually a few days ago, I'm always late at uploading. What did they learn? They learned nothing, nothing. It all started when Sony slowly began to release their games on the PC. You know, dipping their toe in the water, seeing what they can make in terms of revenue. And guess what? They found out they can make a lot on the PC. And what's more, they can still sell their console without having to abandon the console. It's a win-win for everybody. You get to put the games on PC, make money basically doing nothing, and on top of that, you can still have a lead in the console market because the games are on your platform and not the other consoles. Now, of course, personally, that's not my ideal situation. What would be ideal to me is if all games were on all platforms. Yes, I don't care, even fucking mobile phones if it's downgraded to the point that it's pixelated. I would like to see games everywhere and people being able to have access to all of them, but clearly that's not going to happen anytime soon. So you give people two options to play your games, and your console still sells. It's a win-win. The peasants don't see it this way, however. No, you see, the peasants have a very unhealthy mindset. Oftentimes, I'm told that PC gamers are the ones who go around and rub it in people's faces how much better PC gaming is. Yet, I've seen far more Sony fanboys going around telling people that PlayStation is the best box, that PlayStation is the place to play, because we have The Last of Us, we have Uncharted, we have Spider-Man, we have... Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember what this video is about. I remember. 
For those of you that are normal and don't care about exclusives, you may have heard the news that Horizon Zero Dawn is now coming to PC, just like Death Stranding did, just like I'm pretty sure a lot of PlayStation games in the future will be doing. And like I said, if you're healthy and normal and not a maniac, then this news either it intrigues you or you don't care. But the fanboys have lost their goddamn fucking minds. Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition for PC is coming to Steam this summer. Every guy who called himself a Sony pony should cancel every pre-order. They have for former PlayStation exclusive games and stop paying for PS Plus. Boy caught the fuck out of those fools. They want to go to PC, fine, do it. You just lost the hardcore guys willing to spend thousands <laughs> of dollars on your stuff. There's no reason for me to live. No reason at all. <laughs> First off, any guy who called himself a Sony pony should be embarrassed. Look at himself in the mirror. Wonder when's the last time he got a blowjob. And if he's ever going to get laid ever again. And if you're going to cancel your pre-orders or stop paying for PlayStation Plus all because you lost an exclusive, I question where you stand to begin with because you shouldn't be pre-ordering anything and you shouldn't be paying for a subscription service. It's just funny that it took you guys losing exclusives to finally stand up to those kinds of anti-consumer practices. But hey, if what they're doing is actively working against their own self-interest and making it so everyone gets their exclusives and nobody's paying for online or pre-ordering shit, then I guess we're winning. So for the first time ever, I guess I can say thank you, Sony ponies. I won't buy PS5 anymore. Oh, this is the worst one I ever had, son. Oh, it's the worst one. This is a big one. I'm dying. You hear that, Elizabeth? I'm coming to join you, honey. So let me get this straight. This pony right here is saying he won't buy a PlayStation 5 anymore. A system that won't even be affected by Horizon Zero Dawn because that's a PS4 game. All right? It's a PS4 game. So because that game will no longer be a PS4 exclusive, he's not going to get the PS5. What the fuck does- what? <laughs> okay, alright, I- I need to hit the bong. I need to hit the bong. That's my shit. <sighs> you know, you kind of question where these guys stand in life. Is the range of the other products that they use in their daily life limited by exclusivity too? Like, are they going to cancel their entire HBO subscription because maybe one movie jumped to another service? No, of course not, they don't give a shit. To them, that's such a trivial thing, yet they don't have that same view when it comes to consoles. They cannot enjoy what they have if someone else has access to it. Like what, are they going to quit on gaming overall because there's no exclusives? You really think they'd do that? No, of course not, they don't have the balls to. How? It's exclusive PlayStation game. This is nothing but a good thing. If Sony decides to follow Microsoft's footsteps and release them on PC as well as console, I'll probably just switch full time to PC. Both consoles, games plus PC exclusives, great. But seriously, it's good to have options. Anyone who disagrees is sad. Long time ago, we know each console has exclusive games. This makes each console different than others. And the exclusive games make gamers buy the console to play its exclusive games. Now, if the games are not exclusive anymore, the consoles will not be sold and played as PC. Me fail English? That's impossible. The outcome of everybody switching to PC because console games are now on the PC is never going to happen. Most people don't even buy consoles for their exclusives. Those are merely the cherry on top for people buying whatever box will be the one that can play Call of Duty or FIFA or Madden. And as great and as popular as PC gaming is, not everyone is enticed to play on it. Not everybody wants to build a PC and not everybody wants to buy a pre-built. Some people are just simps, know what I'm saying? And those people will continue to buy consoles no matter what. Sure, you won't have as many PC gamers wanting to buy consoles for their exclusives anymore, but either way, the exchange of those games is happening. Think about it this way. 
Sony basically knows that PC gamers are going to buy their consoles just for the exclusives, but they're not going to remain on the marketplace. They're not going to continuously use Sony's market. They're merely buying the console for the exclusive. So Sony says, Fuck it, if they're not going to be a part of our market, then we might as well just tell them the game. They don't have to join our market, we can just expand it. From a business standpoint, it's genius, and ponies don't want to admit it, but Sony is taking cues from Microsoft. Nobody gives a fuck if you don't buy a PS5. View Guerrilla Games with Sony PlayStation are finished. You have betrayed your fans. We are not Xbox PDFs. You know, Smaller, we don't care about who runs Sony. We don't bootlet. You haven't lost. Bye bye, you. English, motherfucker, do you speak it? You ever notice that uh, PlayStation fanboys can't type, nor can they read, nor can they even form a cohesive sentence? I don't know what it is, but a lot of them seem to be mentally challenged. But seriously, Sony and Guerrilla Games are now going to go down under. You do realize that for every person like you that's going to ditch Sony, they're going to have PC gamers buying their products. They don't give a fuck about you. You're irrelevant to them. You're replaceable. That's the sad reality. These are corporations. They're not your friends. Don't take it personal, you stupid piece of shit. I don't feel betrayed. I'm glad they are putting games on PC. Now I can play where I want, when I want, with the settings and performance I want. Okay, Xbox. Oh my fucking god! Oh shit. So the guy's tweet clearly indicates that he wants to be able to play the game on PC, thus making him a PC gamer. But because that is seen as a slight at Sony, this guy assumes he's an Xbox. These people don't think, they just go into a frenzy when they see somebody celebrating a PlayStation game coming to PC. Their mind just shuts off and they go into an uncontrollable frenzy over some goddamn video games. Bending the knee to the competition, huh? <laughs> what competition? Sony wouldn't bend a fucking knee for Microsoft. Microsoft isn't exactly in any position to be demanding anything from Sony. And the PC isn't a direct competitor to PlayStation, so they can take advantage of the PC if they want. On what planet is Sony bending the knee to anyone? This is all in their self-interest. If they wanted to, they could keep things the way they are right now, not putting their games on PC. But clearly, since they're doing it, there's interest there. You have to wonder what makes them so angry. What does this do to affect their enjoyment of the PlayStation? Was their only enjoyment that they had games nobody else could play? Because if that was the only enjoyment they got out of the console, then I question if they're even real gamers to begin with. But it gets worse because PlayStation then tweeted a new interview with Herman Holst, head of PlayStation's Worldwide Studios. What's next for Guerrilla, film and TV expansion, and the principles that drive our world-class developers? So here we have a completely unrelated post to the announcement of Horizon Zero Dawn going to PC. But the PlayStation fanboys, this is, mm, they just, they couldn't control themselves. They were so angry, they were foaming at the mouth. Who could they lash out at? Who could they blame? I guess this guy. We'll ruin the brand! You can be sure if all the exclusives come out on the PC, I will leave the PlayStation and I won't even buy more. Will you become Microsoft? What, you'll leave the PlayStation brand and, and, and do what? What, are you gonna go to the PC? You clearly don't like the PC, so you don't wanna go there. You clearly don't like Microsoft, so you're not gonna go there. Bullshit. It's all bark and no bite. None of these fucking fanboys are going to leave PlayStation. Because at the end of the day, it's what they're attached to. They don't want to admit they're fanboys. They're being so explicit about it, but at the end of the day, they don't view themselves as fanboys. That's what makes them psychotic. Well, there it is, Sony. I am no longer buying a PlayStation console now that I can play your games on PC. It has been an amazing experience with you in the past 26 years. I never thought you would sell your hard work like this, but I guess everything has an end. Bye, have a beautiful time. He never thought that they would sell their hard work? What? If they invested money into a studio and the studio worked on a game and they want to make money off of it, um, 
what else are they supposed to do? Are they supposed to limit the amount of people they can sell it to just so they can keep your ego on the internet happy? They don't give a fuck about how much you worship them. They're in it for the money. You're a temporary loss to them. And even then, you said yourself that you'll go and play it on the PC, so either way, you're giving them your money, are you not? What a fucking retard. I swear to... Oh my god. Somebody... Hand me the DMT, please. Nice, Sony. What's this? Some fucking predictions as to where the PS5 is gonna go? What, they predict the PS5 is going to lose more than 50% of everything that the PS4 had? Is, is that what they're predicting? My god. This one game, this one irrelevant game to the PlayStation 5 is coming to the PC. And now the PlayStation ponies are losing their goddamn minds. All it takes for them is one game, one game, and then everything comes crumbling down. Please, no more only on PlayStation misleading advertising if you are going to release the games on PC later. PS5 hype killed successfully. Okay, what is that supposed to tell Sony? Is that supposed to tell Sony that you like the products? or that you like the fact that they're exclusive, because if it's just exclusivity, then they can feed you turds for all they care and you'll still buy it and worship it. But if your purchasing decision is now officially changed because a last gen game is going over to the PC, you know, a game that no longer has any relevancy, then it tells me you were never in it for the gaming to begin with. You are only in it for bragging rights. These reactions are fucking embarrassing. Embarrassing. These are grown ass men throwing a fit over a game going to another platform. It's as if it's a toy to them and they're losing it. What, you don't want to share? You don't want other people to experience what you experienced? Is there some sort of insecurity there? Are you insecure about the fact that PC gamers will be able to play it at better frame rates and better resolutions with better graphics? If that's what's bothering you, then why don't you just get a PC? Oh, I know why. Because you want to worship one specific box. You want to have a brand you can cheerlead for. But you know what? At the end of the day, there is a lesson to be learned here for the ponies. A lot of you feel betrayed or backstabbed by Sony for putting their game on another platform. But you know how all of this could have been prevented, this whole outrage and your childish tantrums? You know how all of that embarrassment could have been avoided? It could have been avoided if you never pledged allegiance to a corporation to begin with. Never expect these corporations to stick to their word. I don't know what leads you to thinking that these corporations have your self-interest, but whatever is leading you to that belief, you should probably let go of. The gaming industry runs on money. It doesn't run on your hopes and dreams and your passion for a corporation. It runs on money. Anyways, if you liked what you saw, why don't you hit the subscribe button? And you know what? I want to prove to you guys that I really want your subscription. See, I paid lots and lots of money to my friend Mario Sniper so that he could convince you to subscribe to me. Furthermore, don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you actually wanted to see any of this console peasant meltdown in real time, well then go and follow me on Twitter right now. You can pause the video, go do it, won't take long. Also, if you really want me to keep uploading more content like this and slowly moving away from my real world job, then I'm gonna need your help. So you guys should go ahead and go to Patreon and give whatever you can. I'll make up rewards later. I don't know, maybe dick pics, feet pics, I'll think of something. And until then, I'll be seeing all of you in your gorgeous sexy faces very soon. Everything I do is just too sweet.